A PLC system has four major components: input modules, output modules, processor, and programming devices. Today, in this video, we will talk about the input-output modules of PLC. If you like the video, please hit the like and subscribe button, and don't forget to press the bell icon. The input and output modules are the fundamental component of a PLC system. The PLC's input and output modules provide the interface between the external field devices and PLC. The input output modules also provide the isolation between field devices and PLC processor. The input modules receive the input signal from the field devices and convert them to a level so that the processor can understand them and the output modules convert the output signal of processor to a level which is capable of driving the connected field devices there are two types of io modules digital modules and analog modules the digital modules can be categorized as digital input modules and digital output module the analog modules also can be categorized as analog input modules and analog output modules digital input module the digital input module receives the digital signal from the field devices these digital signals are basically on or off status of digital devices like push button on off switch selector switch limit switch proximity switch etc these all devices are example of digital input devices and they have to be connected on digital input module digital output modules the digital output modules send the digital signal to the field devices just because plc sends the digital signal through these modules so these modules are called as digital output module these digital signals are basically on or off command or a control signal being sent by the plc to the devices like solenoid lamp alarm relay motors and actuators these all devices can be connected to the digital output modules analog input modules the analog input modules are used to interface the analog devices with the plc analog input modules receive the analog input signal from the field sensors like pressure transmitter level transmitter flow meter or temperature transmitter these devices give the 4 to 20 milliampere or 0 to 5 volt analog signal depending on the process value analog output module the analog output module sends the continuous analog output signal to the field devices like vfd or control valve these devices need a analog signal to operate if you have to control the opening of a control valve you can control it by giving 4 to 20 milliampere analog signal from analog output module if output of a analog output module is 4 milliampere then valve will be in fully closed condition and if the analog output is 20 milliampere then valve will be in 100% open condition the valve's opening can be controlled anywhere between 0 to 100 percent by giving appropriate analog output signal from analog output module. 